Hello and welcome arm wrestling fans we have a new controversy in the arm wrestling business Sarah Collins versus Engin Terzi I have one strong point about this argument which is probably going to end this whole controversy so please watch this video till the end before that let's discuss Ryan Bowen versus a schoolboy on yesterday's podcast with RVJ Ryan said at least a couple of times how disappointed he was with the schoolboy's performance against Khalid Jashel and also Leonidas Arcona he not only expected schoolboy to win both of those matches but he wanted him to dominate his opponents and clearly schoolboy couldn't even win those matches so naturally Ryan felt a lot of disappointment by that and schoolboy's brother felt a lot of disappointment while listening to Ryan speak about all of this that's why he posted this reply under that podcast Ryan you know you would have lost against fresh college jeshel that day i can prove it let's settle down between you and me and then the winner will pull rvj so maybe he asked his brother what he wants to say and then the translation has been posted there so i also truly believe that khalid jashel in a fresh state would have defeated ryan bowen then ryan further uploaded a video about that where he talked about the call out from schoolboy under that video as well schoolboy posted another comment come on man you almost lost in the second round against khalid who pulled six rounds versus me prior to it ryan replies man it's on so i think this match is in the making maybe these two already discussed that that that's how the things are going to go or maybe they didn't i don't care i would absolutely love to see that match it's a close one but just because of the size difference i am going to favor schoolboy in that match for sure when i first heard ryan speak about these matches it felt a little bit weird to me because to be honest i really don't believe that ryan could have defeated either khalid jashel or leonidas arcona for that matter i think both of them would have defeated ryan as well and that's why this match between ryan and schoolboy makes much more sense so looks like this match is going to happen i think the stage of king of the table would be perfect for it or maybe knuckles up or maybe some other pravan sagan ashvili was welcomed as a guest at a football match in georgia and he was rocking the east versus west super heavyweight title belt this is one thing which i truly believe they should do more of maybe engin can learn something from wwe for that matter i know that engin does not like these three letters or alphabets whatever you call them wwe he hates that but those guys are supposed to carry their title belts everywhere literally everywhere whenever they are going to some promotional event of wwe this is something which East versus West arm wrestlers should also be doing and this is something which Levan is doing right now. So I again posted this. Levan Saginashvili with his East versus West Super Heavyweight World Championship belt is honored in front of thousands of spectators in a football stadium. So the most emphasis in this is probably not even on Levan. It's on the East versus West belt and that's exactly what the promoters and the champions should be doing. That's the only way we can build more prestige around this already prestigious title. And by the way Levan also wished Devon his happy birthday about 4 days ago when Devon turned 49 and Devon thanked Levan in the community post. So now let's get to the controversial topic. You may already know Sarah Collins. She competed at King of the Table and lost to Nisa who is Engin Terzi's student. This time once again she has qualified for East versus West. But things didn't go as smooth as the previous time. She is saying that she has never said any bad thing about Engin but this changes today. Engin Terzi I paid and qualified for both weight classes for East versus West qualifiers, okay? You and I discussed and you know good and well I'm not lying. I did nothing different this year than last year. I pulled both classes right and left and won my trip to Dubai that way. Show me where the promotion states you cannot compete in both weight classes you paid and qualified for. You can't because this is a rule you decided to change last minute because Artem qualified and pulled two classes. You can't allow one to do it and not the other, especially since it was fine until right at the last minute. And later on she went to say that Engin Terzi's words cannot be trusted. So we'll discuss Engin's response as well because he has responded to this topic. 
I wasn't expecting him to, but he did as it was his job because there was some questions raised about his organization. Last year, when Sandris Shedis came to East vs West finals in Istanbul, he wanted to compete two categories as he was qualified in two different categories. East vs West qualifications are not events that we organize. So basically, Engin is saying that even Sandris Shedis was denied that opportunity. But the thing is that he already qualified for a couple of categories. But Engin is once again saying that the first stage of the qualifiers these are not engin's events these are just local competitions and engin give them the authority to use the name east versus west qualifier that's it but the finals are something that engin is himself organizing or at least he's more involved in those organizations in those tournaments that's why he denied that opportunity to sarah collins but maybe sandres could have also denied that opportunity when he qualified for a couple but clearly it didn't work out for him in the finals and this was also the final so i think it makes sense so long story short engin saw chan shaw compete in a couple of classes he called chan shaw and told him that this cannot happen chan shaw told the same to sarah collins and she was not satisfied that's why engin was on the phone and chan shaw let these two talk engin explained to sarah that this cannot happen for these reasons and maybe during the call after the conversation went south engin said this is my event i can do whatever i want to do this is something that sarah clearly had a lot of problem with and the fact that engin has to resort to some previous examples to prove his point kind of emphasizes on the point even more which i have been making for almost a couple of years now where are the written set of rules and regulations for east versus west i mean what's the laziness in just writing down your plan i just don't understand that part i've been requesting that to engin terzi for more than a year now if you search ufc rules something comes up but if you search east versus west arm wrestling rules nothing comes up except a blank east versus west page so at this point engin is doing what probably a million dollars in revenue in a year and what's the harm or what's the difficulty in just writing down your rules if he had the rules where it was written that you cannot qualify for two categories then he could have just shown the rules and he wouldn't even need to speak about that but if you try to run everything verbally and mentally not with a laid down procedure then these problems will keep on arising so now let's talk about the point that i was talking about in the intro of this video although these two they both have some points which are absolutely valid i think engin is kind of right in his own and so is sarah but one point which sarah should have mentioned and i don't think engin would have had any reply to that is if we are not allowed to qualify for a couple of weight classes because you want diversity as you just said first of all i truly don't believe that diversity is the right thing to do here engin is not running a country he does not need to provide any reservations for people to compete reservations do dilute some things especially the talent so there is no need for that these are just my opinions not what sarah should have said what sarah should have told engin is if you're not allowed to qualify for two classes then how the hell was devon the champion of two classes how the hell is ivan matyshenko while already holding the 115 kg left arm title competing for the super heavyweight title as well against artem morozov how the hell is alijan muratov going to hold two and maybe even three left arm world titles in the future if you're not allowing us to compete then how are those champions staying in couple of weight classes at the same time clearly there is not a balance here the equality word i'm going to use is clearly not there if you cannot qualify for a couple of classes then don't even have champions who own the titles of couple of weight classes that's the point that i wanted to make please like the video thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel